Summer hadn't been kind as severe drought followed severe flooding earlier in the year. Lethargic trout and rough water conditions abound. Our hunt for vibrant trout in fair chase conditions led us south as the rain front swept through. Every stream and river was blown out until we reached our target stream. The rain missed this river all season and it was low. The water was cool from the weather change, but floods chased by drought had the fish telling us how they felt about it. To find our way around these bulls without inducing them to say, hey, we need to go and follow those guys. Well, they're bulls. They're going to find, follow us. Because that's what bulls do, see. And Buck says that... Uh, those bulls follow us the entire day until there's some kind of barrier. They will not stop and they'll start to hump each other and wrestle each other. And well, you know what these two are doing over there now? Yeah, and that's how this goes. So this turns a let's go look for fish into a you're pretty much screwed until everything settles. See that yeah, right up on that on the gold down. rocks, yeah. Absolutely. That's one. Oh geez. Bulls are bulls are right right here. Right in the middle. Okay. Well, not spooked. Well look. Look at that. And there it goes. Uh, yeah, it's, the dogs are out and they're moving the cows. There's nothing like tough water conditions and lethargic trout. And compounding that with 30 or 40 bulls walking the stream bank made it even tougher. I love dark humor. And about the time I was cynical about my odds of catching a trout, the landowner came along driving a quad bike with three barking dogs to move the bulls upstream along the bank. This wasn't going our way. But I am a patient guy and knew that if we rested the one fish in the heart of that riffle, if we just oh, yeah. took 15 minutes to eat lunch, There's another maybe we could riffle. convince that one fish yeah, to eat so. my fly before I'll we left this next. stream. I don't, just don't know what to make of this day. Oh, give this a go. Because it was active a few minutes ago. Look. Okay. Not a lot of movement on that. Got him. Just right in there. Just right in that slot. Yep, I do. What a fish. I shall overcome the big bulls. That's big fish. Truthfully, saw him cycling around in there when the first came in. It was like he was cruising the flats. The bulls came up and he went doggo. The farmer came up, herded all the bulls up, and he was like, Yeah, no, I don't like that. Whew, I got lucky on that. That fish could have bolted with all that activity going on upstream of me. Look at that thing. What a stunner of a fish. Saw him just cycling around in there. 
on the big old flats. Oh, what a gorgeous fish. That is a tank of a fish. I can't get in that damn net. Oh, crap. Tennis racket in the net. Oh. Okay, let's get this fish going. It's not crazy cold and it's not crazy warm. Yeah. It just is mid 60s. I still feel honor bound to the fish to get it moving. Let's just do a quick weight job. Spot on six. Wow. Stunning fish. Look at this, eh? Here they come. Just say, hey! There we go. That's your favorite right there. <laughs> wow, Wait. stunning Let's fish. Go down, Let's left. do this. Let's just do this, yeah. And, okay, and down. Yeah. Because the cows are, the bulls are in the creek upstream now. And it's just, yeah. Wow. I don't know how we're going to overcome this, but so far, one to the good. One to the good. Look at that. The whole reason we came to fish this creek was that flat right up there. And all those bulls are now up there. I love that statement, though. Accept everything, expect nothing. Such a good phrase, because really, life's a gift and whatever happens, happens. Okay guys, so I caught that one gorgeous brown trout. But here's the kick. The water temperature, yeah, I think it's, you know, getting a little bit warmer. It was 65 at start and we, you know, it took an hour and a half to find the fish. The water temperature is about 67 and after that pocket with two active fish, every other fish we've seen is straight into the riffles. And that tells me, even though it's only 67 degrees, these fish have probably undergone um, stress of drought and heat. Not the biggest creek in the world. Uh, so rather than say, well, I can fish till it's 68 and keep going and finding an active fish, no. Um, the fish are active in the riffles, great stuff, healthy. The one I caught landed, swam away happy. But I'm going to say, no, that's it. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, um, just low enough, warm enough. The water outside of the riffles has probably not got enough oxygen in it, and that's why we're seeing those fish just shut down doggle. You can literally just poke them, you know, walk up and poke them in the side. So, you know, I don't, I, water temperature isn't always everything. Water temperature where, how much dissolved oxygen in what water types within a creek is really important. That's the most important thing. And these fish are showing signs of there's not enough. So we're cutting it off. I don't care that we're in New Zealand. I don't care that we're on vacation and oh, I should be able to fish when I want to because I'm on vacation. No, the fish are telling me, no, enough, go away. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Really cool when you look at what that is. That is the old time gold trail that goes all the way through this river, all the way up the gorges, and ties in to the Otago Gold Trail. God, that's gotta be over 150 years old. Up on that precipice up there, it's hey? incredible, hey? Like, it's so cool to see that old, old stuff. Amazing what sort of history you know is built into all that. Just so awesome. You know what that took to create? Like that's over a rod length high. Wow. That's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. That was taking the time <laughs> to create that. I just love it. This is really cool, hey? Oh yeah, man. Up on the old pack trail, wagon trail, or not even wagon trail, it's just mule and horse. Yeah. Yeah, That's so cool. up on this bench of sandstone layering. Yep. That is so cool just to get in here and think 150 years ago during the gold rush, this was part of it. Can you imagine being here 150 yeah. years ago? Yes, up on this bench. The hardships of life then too, right? Oh yeah. We can't fathom those. No, it's so, 
and, and when you look at it, it's it's amazing. Because look at this. Look at that. That is just the coolest. Imagine being on a packed pack train. Yeah, going past this big old rock beside us. And going, yeah, there's gonna be gold. I'm gonna be rich. That's and <laughs> that was this is a really cool piece of history right below us. Wow. Love it. Really cool. And then you look down and you find a piece of gold. Right. Yeah, right. Or rich. <laughs> As we give it away because we're not Kiwis. Wicked awesome. Guess we're gonna get back down off this. If there's one thing I'll leave a fishing trip for, it's lethargic, non-vibrant trout. It just feels wrong to try to catch and disrupt a gorgeous trout when environmental conditions have it shutting down. I know I could catch it, but why? What would I be proving? It's not fun to take advantage of anything in life just to fulfill what would have to be ego. We walked out and drove three hours over the high country to another stream that should be clear and found SUVs at all the popular parking spots. We camped overnight, then kept driving two more hours east and north before coming to another stream that was black the day prior, but had cleared considerably. Trouble is, I knew nothing about this stream. When it comes to hitting new water, I deliberately don't search any fishing report or anything to do with information online because it robs me from my own discovery. I leave it up to Google Earth to guide where access points are, and zipping around the imagery for land and water features, it allows me to daydream and hope. I was able to quickly pull up Google Earth to find nearby access and interesting features. And five minutes later, we crossed our fingers and hit the water. This is New Zealand. There's always a fish. should have a chance. No, here he comes. Ate the beetle. Right on top. I'll ate the beetle right on top. Yeah. Oh man. What I love is how we found this creek and that it's not anything flash. Ah, it's gorgeous. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> Me too. Super happy. Wow. That's so, so cool. Let's see that. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, gorgeous man. Gorgeous fish, eh? It is gorgeous fish. Okay. The whole time. There we yeah, go. yeah. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Well, that's a surprise. That's cool. I love that stuff. We just, the truth is we came over here because all the other rivers are so busy. The popular rivers, really busy. And cars at every access point. And we said, hey, what about that river that crosses one of the main highways? Nobody's gonna be there, and nobody. Nobody, nobody, nobody. And we read up, couldn't find much information on it, and that's exactly why we're here. Hey, if there's no information on it, go and look on Google Earth. Hey, willows, willows, let's go and see what happens. We're only after a couple. Looks to have some great troughs and depth, like Dave was just fishing this trough right here with a bit of a weed bank off off the bank. And yeah, looks to have some great water up ahead. So well, we're excited no, about it. Let's also say that five minutes ago, we were, we were just, we were really low. We just came out of the hills and it was people everywhere. And we were, we came in here and we looked at this and it was like, there's gotta be something. But then five minutes in, I was like, well, we're just discouraged today. And five minutes ago, we were like, well, I don't even know why we're here. Yeah. And then, and then out from one. the willows came <laughs> this big fish. And then, see this one? I think that's a fish. Let's get set up. And suddenly, hey, there's two good fish here, beautiful fish. Uh, are we, we're going to stick around here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Just think that's a good idea. Awesome. So will there be another one in this run? It's beautiful water for browns right on that bank. Well, you're looking there, and I'm kind of looking underneath this stuff. Yep. Because there's going to be a fish up there. There has to be. Uh, I think so. How do you want to do this? Do you want to cross over and get up on that bank? Well, I'm it might be worthwhile way. because especially at the head up in, up in here, yeah. right? Yeah. Wow. That's some prime water there. Yeah. No, I Isn't that it? fish was there. 
Again, remember back when we used to guide on the Red Deer River, it was always two thirds of the way around the bend, right where the trough kind of started at the end of the Dancy Water. Yep. Well, two thirds of the way through the bend. And guess what? Right where right the trough in ends of the <laughs> Dancy Water. The trough begins on the Dancy Water. And it's just, yeah, yeah. There, that was where the fish was. So, you know, here we are again. Consistency to that, doesn't yeah. matter where you are. I don't think that's a fish in the middle, but... Mm, I don't think so either. I know what you're saying. It's... I oh, I don't know. Did it just nymph? Boy, that was... Or that was just a flash of light that didn't look right yeah. on a stick. I think there might be one up here just off the rock in the middle. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure that is. Let yeah, me yeah, see. yeah. For sure it's a fish. Right there. To the right of that rock? Oh, right I see him. No, yeah, green. I see him. Yep. Yeah. I want to make sure there's no I else see him. Yeah. All right. But let's go dry only on this lake. Yeah, because you know what? I think they, these fish are liking the idea of beetles. Well, that one. I was mean, the so first one was so all of them right now. I, I'm just saying, there's a chance of it though. So I think we should try that. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Awesome. Here we go. He looked hard. Yeah, it seemed it, but I'm not sure he came far enough. No. That's what I felt anyway. Got him right on the dry. What happened? I don't know. Jeez. He turned, I think, at me and oh, it popped such out. A soft take, eh? Such a soft take. I, yeah. I definitely felt him on there. And that head come up. Yeah, you had it. But wow. Mouth was open the whole time. Oh, okay. And then he turned right at you. Really? Mouth was up, eat, turn, and his but his mouth was open the entire time. And then as your pressure started, yeah, he turned around with his mouth open. His mouth never closed, and that's something we're seeing wow. so often on these browns is eat and then leave the mouth open. Yep. And if it doesn't, if you don't get that hook set that fly's gonna pop and and it yeah. looked to me to be a male i don't know it had a bigger head to it i thought um i don't know about you but that was closer. that was kind of my gut feel on it too which doesn't help because of course that big wide mouth of a male with the kipe and everything and yeah yeah you, yeah yep. bugger <laughs> bugger got careful of the one that's gonna cycle yeah. and cruise Good news is you can see most of this. This feels like a river you could put miles on in a day. Now, as you come around this stuff, guys, you gotta just look, follow my rod, and come around this angle, just in case there's somebody sitting right there. Nope. Boy, this looks like so many creeks structure-wise back home yet, too. up there yeah i don't know is it it's moving no that's a fish look at that nice stunner of a fish yeah as i said coming in could be at the on a rock at the head of the run on a shelf is that the lens you want long lens actually on that i'll get it for you that'd be amazing okay do you want me to put oh gorgeous swing. rise that's worth a bit of filming hey yes it really Stunning. is Let me show you guys that fish is just right up in there just on that shelf across the way can you pick them up very well oh yeah okay I'll pick up the head Right off a bit of a drop off zone. Go figure. Well, you should be able to stand up. Maybe so. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he just followed. He dropped a rod length to eat, so that tells me. Tells us a lot. Yeah, it tells me an awful lot, in fact. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to try to put it as close as I can just above him, right? 
the wind feels good right now, so let's do it. Let's do it. Ready? Yeah, ready. Here we go. I'm on you. Here he comes. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was the shot. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I knew that was a lateral line eater. He just. <laughs> what a fish. Not in there. Jeez, I'm in no man's land now. I thought that was a landed fish, but it's wrapped. It's now around this stick, so that's gonna. Okay, there we go. I'm free there. Wicked. Oh, that is a chunk. I bet you that's close to five. It's fat. Yeah. Pardon me. Six three quarter. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh, that's why it's six three quarter. Oh. Here we go. Wow. What a fish, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what a tank of a fish. Yeah. Okay, so apparently there's a few big fish in here. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I think you just gotta yep. pitch and pray. I think that's the end of the day. That's right. Pitch and pray and hope that everything sticks. Wow, what a fish. <laughs> well, you know what was super cool about that is I know I got a gorgeous eat. Yeah. And not only was I able to do that, but I kept it on our 300 frames per, spec per second slow-mo yeah. uh, setting so that I could get all those jumps before I switched her over to Well, four, the other you know. thing though was yeah. with the big lens, you know, we, we you can't shoot everything on a 300, I, which is the 600 mil equivalent on micro four thirds. You can't shoot everything that tight because you have to change your lens after the eat. You might get an epic eat, but yeah. it's 50-50 in this kind of water with that kind of glare. So it was like, should we be filming the big lens? Why don't we just, good is good enough. Yes, exactly. And that way you can zoom out because with that big lens, it's so tight. It's you you're way too tight. You gotta be able to swap it over like yep. you're saying. So no, we just used our 14 to 150 mil lens and I was able to get the whole scene and that was I'm looking thrilling. forward to seeing the jumps because oh, yeah. from where I was waist deep in the water, it was like right at me. I was like, ooh. And the sexy yeah. part was the first jump was a mid-air wiggle wiggle. So it yes. was like, I know that's a healthy, vibrant fish. Absolutely. When and those the way fish, you fought yeah, too. Yeah, like, just, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Multiple jumps and down and yeah, keep yeah. it out of the sticks. And but that's exactly what we do. We adjust the camera. We don't just go, I want the biggest, best in tight. No, you got to think through, am I wanting anything immediately after the hookup? Because if you do, you can't use the big lens. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh, it just fed. I need the big lens. Okay, yeah, you do, love. That's too nice. I will be drawing it. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, I landed after he rose. That's okay, I'm gonna go again. Ready? Here he comes. Yes. What a fish. That was so at me. Oh, 
I stripped like a bugger. There's no hook set. Oh no, I waited no and then... There was no real hard, aggressive, firm, it was like this, mouth. And I guess it's because that mouth was coming yeah. at me so slow and I was waiting. You're half speed on the hook set, love. Oh man! How's that? Ugh! Ugh! Well, truth is, I am bummed about that, guys. Um, I think the reality was is that I was watching that fly for so long as that fish dropped way out to take it at me. Didn't have a lot of opportunity to lead that fish because of how close it was to the willow without actually getting my cast in the willow. So again, it was leading that fish out. So I was inducing a downstream take, there's no question. But I'm watching that mouth, watching that mouth come at me and I'm watching and instead of connecting to a really solid hook set, I, I did it too, too slowly, too softly. Um, yeah, that's a bummer. Okay, onwards. Well, it's funny because I'm wondering if, like this is just too shingly, you need a rock. Give me a firm rock in this run, I'll show you a fish. So. Above that yeah, that's what I was just about to say is that would be the cruising water. Yep. Absolutely is the cruising water. My concern, I can see everything out here smudge wise, but I can't see really well ahead of me. Underneath this stuff. You don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to obsess about what you can't see while ignoring what you can see but if there's going to be a fish i need a rock i need a rock it's very true that if there was a rock a hard any kind of a hard rock on the bottom it would be right there the other thing is it's probably sitting right here but i'm not seeing any shapes nothing nosed in Definitely looking over here now. Yeah. You'd think somebody would be cruising that. Or right up in that corner. Yeah. Now there's a smudge on a rock right underneath the wave there, but it would have to feed if it was a fish there. Yeah, it would have to move. Yeah. Okay. Top side pillow off the shelf. Blindly. Nope. You'd think somebody would be there, hey? Yeah, I would. There he oh, is. Yeah, there right it is. exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice. Little shelf, top pillow. Yeah. And Just a gorgeous male. Yep. Well, I guess by golly. And, well, a bit of an educated guess. Not much of a rise, though. Just a, I want that. I thought, when I first hooked up, I thought a little three pound male. Nope. No. Gorgeous. A little bit bigger. <laughs> Stunning, eh? Okay. Anytime. I'm gonna let him go. Okay. Wicked. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, what a gorgeous fish. Oh, is that a fish right directly below it? Yeah, there's two fish there, Dave. Oh, wow. Oh, geez. He's moving off. I just picked up on that one. Yeah, he just moved over. Yeah, he moved, oh boy. I, the one closest to us, I think, first. And stay left of him, you know what I mean? Yes, go, 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 go. Yeah. 
I need that net when you have a chance. Yeah, no worries. Take them over where it's shallower. Yeah, wow. the reflection of their peck fins with that sun. Yeah, let's get her going. It's so yeah. nice. I'm just gonna pop it and. They're really eating yeah, it. Yeah, eh? they are okay. sucking it in again. Okay, and out here, ready? Wow, <laughs> that's nice. Long fish again. Fun fish, guys. Look at where we are. Look at this water. Just gorgeous broken rock. And that fish was holding as we came up from downstream here. We started to look across and uh, Dave picked up one on the inside that ended up swimming a little further upstream. And I picked up one further over that was holding right by that yellowy rock. And then he eventually kind of came in and took the spot of the other one. And uh, that was fun again, just pitching the beetle in there. He comes over, eats it. Dave says there's another one. Okay. <laughs> Going to see where that one is. Wicked. Okay. Yeah. Is that white leaf? Yes, he's like three feet oh, left wow. of it. Yeah. He popped on that, eh? Like crazy there, pop. There's yeah. Right? There's crazy pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up he goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, fish. Holy hot fish. Whoa. Go with it, go with it. Slippery as hell river. Yeah. Yeah, right. I don't trust that. There's boulders up here. There we go. Now he's coming. Stay out from those willows. Come on, fish. No, don't no, no, react. Lay the rod. Yes! What a fish! What a beautiful fish. Heavy, heavy, gorgeous male. Jeepers, that thing is long too. Wow, eh? <laughs> wow. What another stunning fish. He definitely wants to think about going. How are you? Great. Down, up, go. All right, down. Oh, thank you, fish. That was gorgeous. Well, that one too was so cool. In this fish, in this run, sorry, three fish, eh? And three nice ones. I mean, you look at the run, you look at all those boulders and all the beautiful calm pockets in between, and you just go, yeah, yeah, that's awesome holding water. And that last one, yeah, just again, a means of pitching that beetle. I got the cast I wanted, which was maybe two, three feet to its left, led it by probably five feet anyway, and yet he just came over and that time it was actually quite a you hear me say oh a popping it was quite a popping and again i think that's the sucking in of that beetle pattern and yeah these these fish are on the beetle today um can't deny the effectiveness of that beetle i mean you guys have seen us use that fly so much whether it's alberta chile new zealand argentina the beetle works um especially when when fish are keyed into it and these ones are today so yeah what a gift of a fish really enjoyed that one yeah it'll get a little deep here but i don't think hideously so and i think we can get around up there i think it gets shallow that's why i'm kind of interested oh there's a gorgeous eater coming out there see him oh, look at that yeah. okay, I just saw the okay guys well i've tucked in here and we're as tight as can be. This is a totally different bit of water that we're fishing compared to when we started this river. 
So yeah, we're just waiting in this ambush area. So anyway, guys, I've uh, changed to a longer leader, back to my usual 15 foot, but I'm dropped down to 5x with a little poly caddis. Oh, here he comes from out. out. Yeah. Just from out. Yeah, he's just up here. Not a flare. Yeah, I bet you don't. Wow, that wind is terrible suddenly, hey? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I see where he crossed over. Everything in me says, what, why don't we both get back out? Because that's two or three times he's come down, but hasn't dropped any further. Right? Coming down, he's just inside of that, just gonna go oh, into, the going into the glare point. Yeah. Enough. You see him on the shallow up there? Going right to left, right in shallow. Right in shallow. Okay. I'm gonna to have to do this. Oh, yeah, there he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know when you're on him. On him, Dave. Are you on him, on him? Let's see what he does with that. Dry and dropper. No. And does he motor out of here? Or is he just cruising out of here? He's still right up there, though. Meanwhile, we've ignored the other side of the river completely. Where are you? That should be it. You should. Nice. <laughs> you called it. I took some doing, though, hey? Yeah, just complete change of setup from the beetle to a caddis and a size 18 frickin' dropper on 5X. I think it's wrapped around his pec fin there. Alligator rolled. Yeah, good. Sweet. Nice fish. We'll get, we'll get him going pretty quick here. We'll just do this real quick. I'm just going to get the fly out. In theory. Just gotta find it. Oh, very corner of its mouth. Yeah. Gorgeous fish. It's getting full blue. Beautiful, Dave. Rolling in any time. Are you close on the fish or no? Oh yeah, I'm, I've got the whole fish. It's just beautiful. Wicked. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well guys, um, all day we've been chucking the beetle. Pretty much playing catch and eat or eat and miss or eat and hook with the fish with the beetle came into this long, big flat behind me, and lo and behold, I didn't want a big beetle. So I had to turn in and say, extend that leader to 15 feet, and what, 4X to the dry, which is a small poly wing caddis, and I bought a 10, 12 inch dropper to size 18 little uh, mayfly nymph, and yeah, that was the first one in and the first one home. Uh, just little adjustments as you work different water and different fish, with different characteristics as you move through a day on the water. I'm good. You ready, love? Yeah. Okay, here we go. He's gonna eat to his right. No, nope, gotta get this right above this fish. Yeah. Come on. Okay, go again. There we go. Okay. Yeah, got to put an imp on. Okay. No. Okay, here we go. You're consistent of nothing else. Yeah, come on. On top. Yep. Of it. Here he comes. Yep. Got him. Nice. Up here, love. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah, take yeah, him yeah. down. Take yeah. him down, trying to take him down, trying Richard, to take him down. You got a chance. Yeah, I do. Wow, Keeping him I'm out shocked here. he came that far over. Oh yeah, man, that was awesome. Crazy. Maybe right here, maybe. 
Come on. Right in here. Come on. Get up. Yes. Yes. Eight flies are out. Coming off left. <laughs> Does that work for you with the bubbles? Awkward spot. Yeah, you ready? <laughs> uh, so nice. Nice fish, love. Yeah, that was really cool. Well, it became pretty clear that that fish was not going to eat the beetle. So on, on went the nymph. A uh, little caddis, size 12, caddis pupa nymph. It's kind of a green body thing that, that we tie. And uh, honestly, yeah, I mean, it was just a matter in here, guys, you know, getting my cast right up the lane, straight ahead. We got kind of crazy wind right now, so just trying to make sure that I kept a really good straight line above me on my cast. And interestingly, that fish decided, I believe, to kind of kind of break late. I was definitely... I kept casting more to its right than right down the seam and in front of him. And so sure enough, he kind of broke late, came over, looked and obviously took the nymph. I saw that plain as day and was able to set the hook and yeah, enjoy, enjoy the fun after that. But great spot for a fish. Look at it through there. I mean, what a perfect bucket and seam coming in right at the head of that. Tell from here. Well, it'd be feeding in the shallows, eh? It's got a definite torpedo shape and shadow. I thought I saw a lower fin, but looks like a head on a rock. Approach with caution, as they say. Here we go. If that wind will have me. Yeah, that's, that's there. I'll just end up twitching it when it gets close. He'll come to my side if he comes. No. It has to land near him. Not a rod and a half away. No. Okay. There we go. Then, in the end, it took the dry. Isn't that crazy? You can do that and do that and do that and... If yeah. you've been paying attention to our videos, you can hear Maybe the tone of my voice change on this fish. Yeah. It was just after 3 p.m. and that fish was more than likely shutting down from drought stress. Not so much too warm water as it wasn't, but that fish wasn't on, was just existing. We pulled the plug on the day and walked out. Another short day by simply listening to what the trout behavior told us. I'm not gonna measure, because it's that fish, right? The next morning was two days removed from the rain and the weather was much warmer. The rain drained out of the system, and we were left with what would be a short day again, as the trout would no doubt be shutting down by about two or so. It's a tough balance when it comes to sighting trout. You don't want to get out too early, as poor light angles keep you from seeing fish. But you know that with things shutting down by two, you have limited time. A short day, but we push to make the best of it. Oh yeah. I see a fish up there. I don't know. Let's just go find out. Go try. They might just be jockeying about. You just don't know. They're sea runners, so. Whether or not he lets me anywhere near him is another question completely. I don't know if I'll get there. Will he let me off the bank before he bolts? There's another one right there. 
Yeah. And another one. Oh, shit, that one. Yeah. One, two, three fish here, Mills. Mm -hmm. There's that one, and then there's the one moving down. I have to go sedge dropper right now. Thing. Is he going to stop and turn? Wow, this is not going to be... No, I see that one, but this guy, they're just... They're in there chasing and slashing. Look at that. That one down there is doing the same thing. Okay, there's two together now over there. Another one coming up. Here we go. You ready? This is wild. Wildly cool. Oh, yeah. I had him the whole time. Oh, you do. Whoa. I never that saw was, his mouth. That was a bizarre I angle. I never saw his mouth. That's amazing. Now I'm screwed. Yeah, he's there. And now he's there. Now he's over there. Now the other one wants to eat my dry fly. See, look at that. Wow. The other one wanted my sedge. And this is no slouch of a fish. Unbelievable. Yeah. No, I gave myself a tennis racket. Shouldn't do that. There we go. Nice. That's how you net a fish. Gorgeous, eh? Nice. Gorgeous fish. Ready? Again, guys, all this is is some sea run fish, not too far from a popular estuary, and they're slashing at white bait and bullies, just basically small fish in the shallows. I'm going to go with a um, large pheasant tail to look like a red damsel, a bully, or a white bait, and see what happens. Because there's quite a few fish moving around. I think I just spooked a whole bunch of them, but that was a good fish, fun fish. Yeah, it's there, it's fed. So I'm gonna try. Yeah, I hit something on that back cast, didn't I? That's no good. That should do it. Yep, nice. Yeah, that should do it. Come on, fish. Up and over those sticks, thank you. Just, just stunning fish. They're just hot little buggers. I really wanted this fish to come in right here. His bot, her body is the same as, oh, just puked up a, looked like a little white bait or something there. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're definitely on those, that's for sure. But I don't think they're passing up too many nymphs. I would like to get this one in. Because I really, really wanted to get a weight on this one because it's absolutely insane. Wouldn't surprise me if it was five. Five and a quarter. Not much of a fish, but five and a quarter. Yeah? Yeah. Here we go. Nice. <laughs> wow. What a fish. Charged at the end. Woo! Yeah, pausing him. Keep pausing him. In the net. Yes! Woo! Six on the nose. Oh, yeah, it was a solid, solid fish. Right? Wow. Now on the fight. Unfortunately, in what happened, one of the flies ended up, I think it was the top fly actually ended up in its dorsal. So it was just a really awkward fight to get him in. And what a perfect spot when you look at where he was holding guys. When I walked up this bank and I looked out and it's like, okay, the head of that 
clump right in the middle. What a perfect pillow, right? You've heard us talk about pillows so much and that's exactly what that is. He's just holding at the top end and when, you know, he's feeding heavily, picking off whatever is going by. But what a, what a great spot for him to be in, being that he's a brown trout and they love their pillows. So you got one out here, do you? Yeah, I can't take my eye off it. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm on your right. Uh, I saw him again. Okay. So by all rights, in that white foam line over there, yeah. see there's a really dark band? Yeah. That's not the fish. The fish is actually a gray blue um, there, he just, he's just underneath the white oh, there. Oh, I just see, see him gray blue. He's yeah. very light. Very light. Very light. Right where that yellow okay. leaf is. Okay. The fish is there. He's very light. But lead okay. it by... Quite a bit here. You yeah. don't have to get too much closer. No, so. I'm going to lead it over here. Oh, that's lots. There, there you we go. go. He's going to have a great chance. Yep. Yep. Right and he at, eat, oh, and he eats the beetle, yeah, he isn't that? He, oh! No, no, it was I was right trying at to, uh, I was trying right to strip, at. but that was right at me. Yeah, oh. It's really soft, gentle. Right yeah, at you and not what I was expecting. No. <laughs> not, you know, you throw on a dry fly, uh, the beetle. Uh, it, it's kind of random what's happening here because I guys. To tell you it rose twice. <laughs> oh, jeepers. So I have a nymph on and I mean the last few fish have all been nymph eaters. Um, even both of yours this morning were too, right? Yep. So, no, I was not giving that fish a chance. He was going to take it on the dry and then of course we are upstream or I'm across from it and slightly upstream and he comes over and sucks it in right in front of me. And then I just couldn't keep him on because I couldn't ah, strip or I didn't set hard enough or something. but. Oh well, fish gone. Or, yep. Okay, here we go. Is he gonna station? Come down. He's, He's gonna come down. He's here coming. we go. Here yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and yep. got him. Nice. Nice. Beauty. Strip, 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 strip. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Unbelievable, eh? Just coming right at you. Yeah, me. just like whoa, okay, Dave. Out of the get out of the way. Yeah. Whoa, it's like whoa. Good. It's extremely silvery. No, it's a friggin' rainbow, like I said. It's a rainbow. Wow. <laughs> nice day. That's wild. Yep. You good? Yep. Okay, and off. Woo, and shotting out there, just Wait. like rainbows love to do. <laughs> you knew that well, was there. Yeah, no kidding. How bizarre. I'm that was fun sure, though. I'm pretty sure the one that you missed down here yep. was a big male rainbow um, and it was just a slow at you take. That's why it was so blue green. I was water. about to say it was so light, yeah. light, light looking, which is not like the other browns we've seen here no, today. Just a sipper on the surface. Really interesting. Cool. All right. Let's try this again. A little deeper, a little bigger. Yeah, I'd say good grief, all right. No. Okay, last cast, I think, on this fish. Yep, that's a good yep. fish. There it is. Finally. Nice. Finally. Yeah. Very silvery, big brown. I just saw that big white mouth open. <laughs> oh, how did that come out? How did that fish stay out of that quagmire? There we go. Nice fish. Bet you that's gonna be five and a half. Five three quarter. Yeah, nice. Wicked. Awesome. Yeah. And here we go. Wicked. 
straight to the bank. It looks like a little two pounder when it goes over there. Funny, eh? Yeah. The water is very deceptive. Very nice fish in here. They are. Yep. Gorgeous fish in here. Awesome. Well, I guess. While I edited this fish to its core strengths, the truth is it wasn't doing much before I hooked up. Between the jumps in the fight, it was sedentary. Editing can do a lot to a video's messaging. But in considering that fish and the two sluggish eats from Amelia's Rainbows, and seeing other fish shutting down, we cut our day short once more. It was the right thing to do. If you love our content and want to support us while viewing and experiencing our best media and educational content, our Patreon channel is alive with content. By joining our site, you gain access to weekly producer's notes supporting every YouTube feature, as well as access to our topical short courses and access to our Fly Fishing Trout Streams Master Course. Our Patreon page is a perfect exchange where we provide our best and most in-depth work to improve your trout stream fly fishing while supporting our work so we can continue to develop and grow our media.